Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aaron from Pantheja. Welcome to another fountain pen review. You may ask yourself, why the color semi? Well, let me tell you two words. Brand new manipulation and Leonardo of China Italiana. Are you ready? Let's start by going back in time year 2020 leonardo of china italiana just teamed up for the very first time with the resin manufacturer jonathan brooks in order to bring a outstanding collection based in primary manipulation and as a base we had the momento zero grande in two different versions we had vesuvio and stromboli and I have one of these fountain pens in my private fountain pen collection. And let me show you the outstanding result of this collaboration. This is one of the most epic starters for a partnership in the recent history of Italian pen making. We had so, so many good things coming from this power duo. Jonathan Brooks, the resin manufacturer from USA and Leonardo of China Italiana. And what we have today in premiere at Penventure only, we have the Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in primary manipulation one resin by Jonathan Brooks. And we are the only retailer who had access towards these two fountain pads in order to be showcased on our YouTube channel. So you are getting a head start on everyone seeing these two impressive fountain pens in person, close up with details, with everything. And uh, they are here. And why two? Well, because when you think you've seen it all from Leonardo of China Italiana, they pull one more rabbit out of the head. Voila, we have something new. And I'm not going to bore you with too many details because this pen model, Momento Zero Grande 2.0, we reviewed on our channel. I'm gonna link the videos up here. You can check them up. You can see for yourself this impressive fountain pen, the base model for it with dimensions, with everything. I'm gonna go briefly throughout all of the details. I'm gonna tell you what's specifically interesting and new regarding this PM1 edition of 2023 and showcase this fountain pen, its details, its appearance, uh, its quirks, features, everything that's hot regarding this power duo and the end result that we have today. Like usual with my reviews, a little bit of information regarding the company details. Uh, we're gonna skip the side-by-side -side size comparison measurements. I'm gonna present them. Also, I'm gonna show you a uh, handwriting sample with this gorgeous two nibs. I think I spoiled the surprise. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. And then I'm gonna conclude everything in some personal opinions. So, Leonardo of Virginia Italiana, based in Naples, uh, established around the same time with Penvenger. So, almost six, around there, seven years of pen making history, we can say like this, because they are on fire this few years. It's been awesome to see so many impressive fountain pens from Leonardo of China Italiana. Uh, the base model, Momento Zero Grande 2.0, is a fountain pen which has piston, ink window, uh, gold nibs, and steel nibs. And this time, it's been official. It's been brought on a PM1 model. We have the steel nib available as well. I'm gonna go through each of these two fountain pen models side by side. I'm gonna show you what's interesting about them. We are gonna start with something which is completely new this time from Leonardo. And we have two fountain pens and you can actually order this PM1 Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in two finishes. We have shiny, polished and satin. And let me tell you that this makes all of the difference because the PM1 resin is something which has so many colors, so many vibrant colors mixed up in one resin bar. And uh, these fountain pens are look to be quite flashy. When you add such a satin finish to the whole texture of the fountain pen, you actually subdue the colors a little bit and make it more appropriate for office use if you are in an environment which is more office to say so, more professional. And I believe it's a stunning revelation this year from Leonardo of China Italiana. I didn't expect this. This is new even to me. And when I received this fountain pen, Salvatore didn't mention to me that they have two versions 
polished and unpolished. So when I opened the parcel, I've seen two foundren pads. I took one and I said, well, is, is this not finished yet? And he was like, no, this is how we are gonna have them available. And I say, hmm, this is impressive. Primary manipulation, just like you know by now, it's a resin which is made by mixing a few different colors and all of the colors are not actually mixing, they are floating inside and each individual fountain pen color pattern is different, it's unique. Actually, this time we have a limited edition of 623 fountain pens and not one is the same with the other. So we have a limited edition of 623 fountain pens, but if you put this fountain pen side by side, each of them is individually unique. It's like a fingerprint. And I believe this is one of the, the, the great things regarding primary manipulation. And this attracts so many of us because you basically can have the same fountain pen with a complete different color pattern or scheme. And I'm gonna base my review on the satin version because the polished version, you already seen it everywhere by now. So we are gonna go with the satin version, which has this very, very appealing tactile sensation. Whenever you hold this fountain pen, we have pointy ends like any other Momento Zero Grande 2.0, the same clip, the shape of the cap starts to pick up in girth from this point around this point. Right here, we have three individual rings. This is a configuration which is classical to the Momento Zero Grande series. Then we have right here at the edge of the cap, a two part step down towards the barrel. I believe this is one of the most appealing versions. In my opinion, there is another version which is a little bit more flushed in, conical to say so. But for me, the two step step down configuration, it's much more appealing. I don't know about you. Twist cap, one complete turn of the cap to uncap the fountain pen, and we are greeted by the one and only La Finesse nibs. Not too long ago, they launched this nibs, and this is the stamped version of the Leonardo size six nib, both in steel and gold. And it has this beautiful motif. Uh, La Fenice is translated to the Phoenix. The steel nibs are equipped with plastic ABS feeders and the whole nib unit is screw in the section. So you can actually take one of these nibs from any other Leonardo La Fenice, uh, types of nib units and you can screw it into your Momento Zero Grande 2.0 PM1. I believe it's a nice feature. It's very versatile. It's easy for cleaning purposes. It's easy for disassemble. On the gold nib version, which in this case for the second pan is in the polished version for the same resin, we have ebonite feeders. Those are heat set towards the nib. The housing is glued inside. So don't untwist this sort of a nib. If it's 14 karat gold, you need to pull it out. It's friction fitted like any other nib. The section is a little bit more chunky and gives out a very nice balance and control to your fountain pen. And right here we have the threads of the capping system like usual with the PM1 resins. Those uh, threads are quite, quite smooth and you can actually not feel them at all when you grip the fountain pen. Ink window, very, very nice. Just like any other Momento Zero Grande 2.0, you can check the ink level, you can see the ink inside, you can see how much ink you have. Right here, we have this ring and the barrel starts to pick up in girth from this point, which is the thickest point. The ring is a little bit more different and I have here a Momento Zero Grande old style ring. So this ring is much more flushed towards the barrel. On the 2.0 version is a little bit more uh, protruding out. So it's, it's round. Continuing down from this ring, we have the piston knob, which is tapering in. And right here is the conical shape, just like in any other Momento Zero Grande 2.0. This fountain pen is equipped with the Leonardo in-house built piston filling mechanism. It's a solid, very robust piston filling mechanism. You can disassemble this piston using the Leonardo tool uh, that we have available on our website. You can clean the inside, you can grease it, and the entire piston assembly is made out in aluminum. So it's very, very robust. Small disclaimer right here regarding water and pistons. Be very, very careful not to have water get in the back part of the piston. So if you get some water there by mistake, be very careful because your piston can seize. So when extracting it and cleaning the fountain pen, put it apart, clean the fountain pen, make sure it's dry, and then insert the piston and it should work 
just like a charm. Anyway, this is the entire details of this incredible fountain pen. Steel nib version comes with a box without ink and I do believe, although I didn't receive the box with this fountain pen, this is a surprise a premiering a moment for these two fountain pens. I do believe that the golden nib version will come with a box containing a bottle of ink. Now, let me show you the two fountain pens side by side. Here we have the shiny version and here we have the unpolished satin version of this edition. I don't know about you, but if we were to say like, for example, I do own a number of fountain pens in the polished version, I would have loved to have something in satin. Although it subdues the color a little bit more, like for example, you can see right here on the section that we have some semi-transparent parts and you can actually see inside of the section. For the satin version, I do believe all of those spots are uh, not that transparent. It's, it's, it's a way of having the same color in a whole complete different pattern or visual look. Pick your poison and go for the polished or unpolished version, it's available on our website. In the pre-order series for these fountain pens, I'm gonna leave you a link down below. If you want to pre-order such a fountain pen, go there and you have a little special something at checkout. I don't know about you, but I haven't seen in the last year or two years any single retailer who is practicing the same prices. Pretty much everyone is adding a little bit more regarding the cost of materials, which is increasing the cost of labor, everything. But let me tell you that Leonardo is different. They not only didn't added anything in regards of the pricing, because the Vesuvio, it was available at 500 euros no VAT in 2020. For the Momento Zero Grande, 2.0, which is available with an ink window, with the piston, uh, with the gold nib, with the steel nib this time. It's a much more attractable price point. Are you ready? For the steel nib, you can actually have it for 310 euros, including that. But if you want to compare it gold nib for gold nib, you can have it at 495 euros, including that for any elastic extra fine and fine point included in 14 karat gold nib. I don't know about you, but that is a very nice price point. It is incredible. Not only it's not added anything besides what it was in 2020, it came lower. And this is due to them making a little bit more of this fountain pen. So yeah, right now we have a limited edition of 623 pieces, which I believe it's plenty enough for everyone. You have now the steel nib version available. So if you didn't jump on the wagon on one of these fountain pads because it wasn't fitting in your budget, right now you can actually opt for a steel nib. Pretty much this is what I have in regards of details for this fountain pad. Now let me show you how much it's measuring. Kept like this, the fountain pen measures 151 millimeters. Posted like this, it's gonna measure 171 millimeters. Uncapped like this in writing position, here to here is gonna measure 134 millimeters. Like this, the fountain pen is going to weigh 29.7 grams fully inked. Uncapped in writing position like so, is gonna weigh 19 grams. Now it's time to ink up this fountain pens and to check the incredible nibs on some paper. And I'm gonna try the steel nib version because it has a broad point and I miss having some broad points in my collection. Since red is such a poppy color, let's use diamond poppy red. And uh, let's ink up this pen. Just like I told you, it's a piston, so it's very, very easy to actually get ink inside, so untwist the piston knob, and when it's going to reach, and you can see it actually inside right here, it's completely extended. You're gonna put it in ink, screw in clockwise, and voila, it's done. The pen is completely inked up. Hmm, checking right now, I can clearly see that there isn't any ink left over on the section. This is the satin version. So you may expect that maybe it's gonna get dirty or stained with ink. But watching right now, I cannot see any red ink left over or 
just simply getting in the resin and uh, staining it. So it's a bonus, including for this uh, satin version of a fountain pen. Let me put everything aside and let's focus on the writing sample. The pen, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 PM1. The nib, it's the La La Fenice Broad Steel. Very smooth and a joy to use. Uh, ink, diamine, poppy, red. And paper, as usual with me, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. Now let's check the wetness. With this nibs, a wetness which is medium to wet is expected. So this is one pass, this is a double pass. So remember this is a broad point. I would say this is just like I told you, medium to wet ink flow. Now let's have some normal figure of eight and uh, we can clearly see a very, very small inclination towards the stubbish aspect. And this is usual with most of the modern broad nibs. So we have a little bit of uh, line variation from the actual way that the tipping is shaped. Horizontal lines are a little bit skinnier. The vertical lines are a little bit broader. Now let's apply some pressure, flex. And there is a little bit of give, but this is not your flexible nib. So if you want something in flex, go for elastic fine and elastic extra fine in steel because those are available as well. And you can squeeze some more line variation. But remember, although it's called elastic, it's not a flex nib and it shouldn't be treated as one. Let's use the famous sentence. Let's see how the nib is performing if we add a little bit of speed and my flamboyant way of writing. And we have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It's a very smooth nib. There is a hint of a feedback and on a scale from one to 10, the feedback is around three or something like this, in which 10 is very, very toothy and feedbacky. One is glassy smooth, two is just barely noticeable, three is that fine pencil-like feedback. So three, I would say smoothness. If one is scratchy, 10 is smooth, I would put this one around 8.5. Wetness, I would say like, for example, a seven out of 10, 10 being a super wet, unusable ink flow, and uh, one being too, too dry. This is around seven. I believe we have something which is uh, very interesting for daily use. At, at this cost is even sweeter. Uh, let's put the notebook away and let's conclude in some personal opinions regarding this collection. As usual with my reviews, this is the sort of a time of the video in which we are discussing a little bit regarding my personal opinions. And you may say that you've seen it all with Leonardo of China Italiana and the primary manipulation and everyone is doing primary manipulation. Well, let me tell you that I am very pleased to see that Leonardo makes steps into making more accessible fountain pens in regards of the price point, like the addition of the 2.0 that we have in front of us. Like for example, we have two textures, we have satin or polished. It's another bonus, you can actually pick what you want. And if you haven't jumped on the PM1 or PM in general resin trend with fountain pens, this is one of the fountain pens that may be just the one to get. Beautiful nibs. We do have ebonite feeders for the gold nibs. We have ABS uh, feeders for the steel version. The single fact that you can take the steel nib unit, uh, screw out 
the fountain pen and you can clean it, you can substitute it with any single nib unit that's unscrewable from a Leonardo fountain pen and you can put your favorite nib size, it's a bonus. You can actually go forward and have a specific combination of nibs for this fountain pen. So you can use it uh, at home with a broad point if you want to have something a little bit more finish and you can have it at the office, you can take the broad nib out, put uh, the, the, the fine and extra fine version uh, for more office use and you can take this fountain pen with you at the office. Piston, very solid build. Uh, the, the color pattern is amazing with this uh, fountain pens. You can actually see the beauty of colors dancing and mixing and swirling in the material and there are some parts which are semi-transparent like for example right here when the material is polished you can see completely inside it's going to be amazing uh, the nibs are very very consistent writers uh, the the lafinis nibs are a little bit more true to the size so uh, versus the yovo ones in the past this ones right here if you order a medium should write like a little bit more of a finish medium to say so color pattern that allows you to put whatever ink you want inside like for example i am super ocd so for example if i have a black pan i will most likely use a black ink with this pm ones you can actually use whatever ink you want if you are OCD just like myself. Also, it's a very comfortable rider. You can use it posted. I use most of the times this fountain pants without the cap being posted, but I've seen lately more and more that I'm posting them. Uh, posted, it's a much, much more beefy platform, a more weighty fountain pen. It uh, screams quality and it feels a little bit more different than my other Momento Zero Grinders that I use without the cap being posted. Just like I told you, down below, I'm gonna leave you a link. You can find this fountain pass in pre-order series at Penventure. You can go there and uh, you can have a small little something from Penventure. This is our way to say thank you for your loyalty and support towards Penventure. Uh, let me know what you think about this new edition. Let me know if you have questions, if you have suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you want to see next from Leonardo of China Italiana and let me know if I can help you out with your purchase. Every single order for this fountain pass, you can actually leave your uh, specific things regarding the nibs uh, in the order notes, how you want them to write. For sure, I'm gonna check each and every single nib and every single nib is gonna be adjusted according to what you have left in the order notes as instructions. Thank you very much for spending your time with me on the Penventure YouTube channel. If you enjoy my content, if you believe that is useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Scroll down, you'll find the details for the website, my number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. Don't forget to support the growth of the Penventure YouTube channel and you can do that by subscribing. Click there, turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm going to leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host Henry from Pandanger. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.